Hey guys, welcome to part 7. This is Let's Play SimCity. I'm Panic Mad Sheep. So after all the mi mishaps with UK Lionheart, we decided that it was best for him to abandon the city what he was in to start fresh. And that's exactly what he's doing. As you can see over there, that's UK Lionheart's town. I'll have a go and have a quick look at that. Sunset Peak. Not sure if he's changed the name of that just yet. Nice little town going on there. Already he's got his land value right up. Pretty big house there. Nice looking house as well. Who'd live in a house like this? <laughs> so he's got the train track coming in there. He's got a coal mine. Trade depot. And this all here is his commercial by the looks of it. Oh no, the industrial. All seems to be coming on very well. Good, let's go back to our city, let's see what's going on there. So recently, we plopped down the community college, which in return has upgraded our industry to a bit higher tech. As you can see some nice big factories coming in with not enough places to ship freight. What I did off camera, um, I deleted, uh, well I destroyed one of the dirty uh, coal plant towers and replaced them with advanced towers on both our coal power plants. Hopefully that will reduce air pollution. I also put down some more trees. This is a quick test just to see whether the land pollution is going down when we put in trees. So what I'll do is I'll just plant some more and over time we'll see if this works. Not much business for that area anyway. Trees make it look nicer. Put some here. Might increase land value a bit. Anyway, so the industry hasn't got enough places to ship freight, so what we'll do, we'll add another freight. Another trade depot in and around this area. Somewhere where we can add extra lots. So there's one trade depot. There's another one just there. And this factory is quite new, but that looks like a good place to put another trade terminal. Just get rid of that one road there. Where else could we have it? Can't see much else. Any more places we can put it? We could just put it here. 
but it want, we want it quick access to other cities so UK Lionheart's over that way surely the, the freight will be going that way who knows what we'll do, we'll just put it around here Places to ship freight, so here we go. Let's have one more freight lot just there. We'll have a sign, and we'll just have some extra trucks. Get things going smoothly. Angry we had no sewage system. I'm sure the sewage is okay. Sewage storage at maximum capacity. So this needs sorting. What we'll do, we'll just get rid of this road. We might be able to change this into a nice curved road. But before we do that, we'll add the extra lots. That's one. Two, sorry, factory, you have to go. I'm sure that will be fine just for now. High density street in, curved nicely round. Hopefully, this won't get rid of that. No, it will. So, doing okay now for sewage. This guy shouldn't have a problem. Business is bad. What makes me happy? The mayor added some good buildings, and they're educated. So that's good. We're making 337,500 daily profit in metals. But we need to improve that. How do we improve metals? Metal, there we go. can import it from the global market at low prices and export it at a high price. So what we'll do, we'll capitalise upon that. We'll add two metal yards. And then manage global markets. We'll export. An X. Mm. Well, the importing price is exactly the same as the exporting price. Right. So, how do we make metals? Well, where does it come from? So we need the smelting factory, so we need the smelting HQ, can we put one of these yet? Yeah. Leave behind the paltry output of the measly coal mine, the engineers at the engineering division have plans for a whole new advanced coal mine. But we want metal, so we'll go for smelting division first. We'll just put it straight across the road from the metal to HQ. So now we've got that, we can now go ahead and get the smelting factory. And what we'll do for that is we'll just knock a few droves down. I think we'll get rid of this one. That way. I'm sure it can fit on here. 
Okay, we'll just get rid of this bit of road here. And then connect it this up. Just connect it there. Delete that. And now we should be able to put it in. quite enough room there but I've got an idea get rid of this get rid of that change it to this there we go that way we've got that extra room to add something else on there metal furnace yeah if we'll put that there We'll add the sign and a couple more trucks. We'll just put that there because I think that, yeah, we'll put the trucks there for now. So, this needs raw ore and coal, and that makes metal. And then the trucks will take the metal to the trade depot, which will then export it to the global market, make us some money. So that's now hiring. We should soon be getting commuters in from UK Lionhearts City, which will be good, will help with, with our workers. I'll just quickly ask him what sort of town he's going for. What town are you going for? planning on making. So UK Lionheart has just earned the King Cole achievement. Well done. Clean up your act, reduce pollution. I'll do it. So, how do you reduce air pollution? In a city, what's got lots of mining? Shall we try with the trees? Hopefully the trees will do something. I'll put them on this mountain here. All down the side just here. Obviously trees, oh there we go. So putting the trees down has just got us that goal there. Reduce air pollution. So we'll just add a few more trees because that does do something. If you remember when I first started this city there was trees everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now there's all high rises. Trees say, get out of our city. Okay. So, how's this doing? It's still hiring. Have we got any, anybody commuted in? Let's see. Oh, so... From UK Lionheart's old city over there, we've got pe people commuting into work in our city. Hopefully they'll be getting educated as well. Yep, the students coming in. Not yet got any freight coming in. How about shoppers? No shoppers. the mass transit in my city there. Looking good. We're helping UK Lionheart power his city. We're helping with the water. And he's sending us the sewage. We're helping him with 
the trash fire engines and we're helping him with health and police coverage as well. It's good that we're working as a team. Our town is getting quite a tourist attraction. We should treat the tourists to adding a landmark. Uh, we'll maybe do that later, but we're concentrating on the moment at trading and mining. All our arm mines are doing well. Are all, all at maximum capacity. 120 tons a day. Let's see. 118.8 tons of coal a day, which is still quite good. Considering we don't have too much coal to go from. See that the mining state taking effect. Most of they are starting to disappear. If you remember here, there was lots of deep red. So maybe we'll have to move it over here. But eventually, I'm going to wipe out this area to get the oil. Because that'll make a lot of money. Maybe get rid of the expo centre. But that is a good source of income at the moment. This payout currently at 91,812. I think the last payout was over 100,000, which is good. It's doing its job. And now UK Lionheart's here, we'll have more tourists coming into the city. So tourist riders to the uh, ferry terminal is 3,458 per day. That's a lot. We really want transport in this town. We need to capitalise on our rail connection. What do you say? Ask later. Because at the moment the rail is over here. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put the station. I think we need an incinerator over here because that looks like a lot of trash. I think I know what happens when you get a lot of trash. This guy comes, the big lizard. <laughs> Maybe we should try one of these to wipe out the cities to get the oil eventually. Put down in the comments which disaster you'd like to see in the city to get the oil. And then we may do it. So how we're we doing for garbage trucks? We've got the limit there, so that's okay for now. We'll just leave that as it is. Are we starting to get metal in here? It's still hiring. Let's just check. So we've got no people unemployed, which is fantastic. We've got no people commuti commuting out, but we have got people commuting into the city. We do need to get some people into our smelting factory. Careful not to get rid of most of the commercial if I can help it. Oops. I wonder if I can put this but oh the wrong one. Let's see if we can connect this road now. 
if you remember in the last episode, I couldn't connect the road. And it's still the same case. So, in, in that case, get rid of it. Let the residential move in, more people in, more workers. Always a good thing. Not to forget the shopping. Otherwise it will get people complaining. We're doing alright for money at the moment, even though that we're in a deficit of 4,572 an hour. We've got a nice pocket of 708,000. I'm not going to play around with the taxes yet. I think I'll just leave them at 11. Seem to be doing okay. Or maybe the higher wealth people we can get to 12. And then the lower people pay a bit less. The land value is pretty low around here. What's the road? Well, the high density streets at the moment, so we need to work on getting that land value up. Maybe exchange this for a better park. So more a large fountain, let's see what this does. Or maybe reflecting pool park. I love this one. Large fountain park. And now let's see what that does. Overpowered. Uh, superpowered. Have a city that has over 300 megawatts. Good stuff. That on that side, and that one on that side. Surely that will improve the land value. But it hasn't. There we go. Not enough room to increase density. Well, that's because of that park. So what I can do with you, you the lucky person, I'll demolish you. But not the park, not the park, not the park, cancel. There we go. We'll get rid of this commercial here and then change it with residential. We need more workers. How's the smelter factory doing? Okay, so we, it is working now. We've got the workers. So 3.5, oh no, 4 tons of metal at the moment. I think that's per hour. So we'll be exporting the metals, getting more profit from it. City's looking very good, look at all the skyscrapers. And what's that building? That looks like a nice one. Middling in. So even though there's residential here, it's not actually being used. So we'll just change all that to commercial. 
that might expand it might not but you can see the happiness is going up up and up well tech industry we want places to ship our freight we need workers you just have to wait well upgrade the mayor mansion first We've got our priorities set. Mayor's barbecue, circular fountain, or oh, Mayor's statue. The statue. There we go. It's funny how the Mayor's mansion makes everybody happy. Dug too greedily and too deep achievement. UK Lionheart. <laughs> Can we see this city getting any bigger? Let's have a quick look over there. So it's expanding quite nicely at the moment. Unlocked the Arcology. Something to work for. Not we'll to discuss with UK Lionheart what we're going to do for the great works. Looking good, is it? In a profit per hour, 1,730. He's currently got 21,405 simoleons, population of 435. Okay, leave him to that. If you're enjoying this episode, don't forget to hit the like button for me. Help me out. Thank you. Any comments you have, feel free to put them in the comments box. Any ideas you've got for the city as well, put them in the comments too. You can see anything what I'm missing in the city. It'd be great to know. So how are we doing on the exporting? Thirty-one thousand five hundred per ten. Per ten tons. Currently have ten tons, so we'll have that coming our way very shortly. Nice income there. Maybe we could add another metal furnace. How come, shall we do alloy? How much does the alloy sell for? Let's put an alloy lock. Oh no, we can't. Not in that one anyway. So I think we can get rid of one of these R lots here and change it to Ally just to see how much we can export it from. <coughs> so, 42,000 per 10 tons. I think we'll look into that one. Ally furnace, we can put it here. And then I think we'll put another metals one. Another delivery trucks as well. There we go. How 
How's the Expo Centre doing? Last payout, 91,000. Let's schedule another one then. I'm loving all these high rises in the city now. Makes it look so good. And to think it all come from little trailer parks. Even this area here is now starting to expand. Not enough room to increase density. Well that's a shame. So we've got to build up a traffic here. I wonder what that's for. Well, quite a lot of build up of traffic actually. Wow. Wonder where they're all going to. Let's just see. Going to work. Got TPS report to file. Came from the expo centre. Left work with simoleons. Tired of working at the factory. Going home. So they're all coming from the factories now. As you can see over here. Quite a big queue to get out from work. Factories must work overnight because it's only 11 in the morning and already they're going home. Okay, so let's see what happens if I connect this through the mountain. can always delete it if it doesn't work. Hopefully it will help with traffic flow. That's a cool looking tunnel. Can you see the other end? Nope. No light at the end of this tunnel. So we currently have 80,000 people living in our city. That's quite cool. Let's see if we can hit 100,000. What's the next upgrade on here? 292,000 residents to get the next upgrade on the town hall. Everything is looking good. Let's see what this guy says. Turn town, uh, downturn, turn town. <laughs> the downturn in the economy has hit our city. Do something. I'll do it. Don't know what I'll do. Provide more jobs and more housing. Okay, we'll leave it here for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe button. If you've got any comments, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.